So this chart illustrates the different levels. From 14 to, to about 40 cycles per second, this is the brain wave, beta. This is the left hemisphere. This is the brain waves measured by the electroencephalograph, which is that machine that can measure the brain activity. Now, when we go to sleep at night, we drop down into these deeper levels. When you're dreaming, this is where you are, in the alpha and the theta. And these go together to form the mental plane. No time and space, that's an important point. Time and space is relative only to the physical plane. Time and space is an illusion. It's only apparent, it's not real. Einstein gave us a, a really interesting analogy or a example of how to describe time and space. He says, if you're sitting in a train, right, on the side of the seat, you look out the far window, there's just that little restricted view, and you see a telegraph pole flash by. It's a short little stump of telegraph pole. Now, we know, we've got enough sense to know that there's much more to it than that, just that little view we get. Now, that telegraph pole to the driver is the past, right? He's already gone past it. To the guard in the caboose, the back of the train, it's the future. So there's the past, present, and future all there, but we've only restricted our view, so we get one little glimpse of it. If we take his example even further and go above the train in a helicopter, let's go above the train, what you can see now is the whole telegraph pole, not just that little piece. And this telegraph pole is linked to other telegraph poles with wires that go back to the station in the back with which the train is left. So if you're above the train, you can see the past. And you can see the people getting into their cars, leaving the station. That's the past. You can also look forward and you can see the future, where the train is going to. And there's people waiting at the station. The train hasn't appeared for them. So from this elevated vantage point, you can see past, present, and the future, and all simultaneously. But if you can get into Alpha, <coughs> you can create your own future. You see, if you visualize something, now remember, this is where you dream. So how, what is the language of the subconscious? It's mental pictures. When you dream in at night, you have these pictures, right, floating by, and you get these glimpses. Now, that is the workings of the subconscious. What you dream about here is going to manifest here. Now, you're all sitting in this classroom because you dreamed of being a psychologist or wherever you're going with your degree, and here, this is why you're here. So whatever you image you hold in your mind is going to become your reality. It's going to become your future. So you create your own future. <coughs>